welcome to I Love Stocks. I want to talk about three tickers today, and that's going to be Boeing, GE, and Tilray, and I'm in all three tickers. So we're going to go ahead and start off with, let me see, Boeing first. Boeing's definitely got a catalyst of a bull run. We've definitely had a nice little breakout on Boeing. I believe that some of the less restrictions on COVID is going to cause this stock to run before it can actually, you know, prove itself. So I think we've had a nice little bounce on it, and we're in it right now. Let me see here. I got Boeing. I got five contracts on March 19th at the 270 strike, and right now I'm up $67. And I traded this once already and got back in the trade on the dip. So let's go ahead and look at the stock. And that, it's at March 19th at 4.45, and I got in at 3.20, well, that's Tilray. So my average on this one is $2, and right now, at close, we were at 2.13. We did have some higher highs on it, and I do believe it's going to go a little higher, but we needed time to consolidate. So we're going to go ahead and look at the chart. This is the Boeing chart. This is my TTM trend chart. And we'll go ahead and pull up the 20 day and just show you the look at the 20 day. It's probably got a lot of lines in it because I was really trading it pretty hard yesterday. We did call it down here at the lower levels on the 20 day at 212. And she's had a nice little breakout in the past three days. We're showing a pennant flag right now. So we could maybe double top and then have a pullback and start going sideways. And I do have a long target at 261.50. And I do have a low support at 243.85. And we're going to go ahead and look at the daily one minute. So we're going to add a new support line right here at 249.60 to hold. That's what I want to see hold today. If it does pull back or if unless it wants to go ahead and break out, that's fine with me. And we'll get that double top at 256.65 and run it all the way up to 261. I'll definitely get out of the trade again today. To me, this is scalping material from here on out. And this is Boeing. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be General Electric. I got in General Electric yesterday. I figured it would be a good little runner. If it had some news, it wants to consolidate and get rid of some of its debt, selling some assets. So I got in GE. I was down on this one for a little bit, for a little while. Let me see here. I got the April 16th, 2021 strike, $12 in the money. And I got in at $0.88. Cents, and right now we're hovering between that 80. We're, we're even at 88 after hours. But we're going to go ahead and look at the chart. GE had a nice pullback yesterday, so that's why I took the trade. They got a target on this to $14. I think this is a good long trade if you want to go in long. You see on my call, I got in the uh, April 16th, so I'm a month out, month and a week out, so I still have time to go ahead and make money on this trade. I think it will bounce up by then. It surely should. But we're going to go ahead and look at the chart. We'll look at the 20-day. It kind of gives you a catalyst of how nice of a run it has had. And then we've had a pullback. It took two days to pull back what gained in three weeks. So to me, that was a strong buy indicator. And I did draw a support line in here. And right after I drew the support line, as you can see, we pulled right back to that bottom support at eleven ninety seven, right around 12 bucks. But I got in the trade here at twelve sixteen. We run it up a little bit, then she pulled back most of the day. I think we're ready for a retracement bounce up. My target, first target is going to be this 1270, right in here, this 1274 area, 1295, and then take it back up here to this level up in here. I'm going to say right there at 1317 from this two digits right here. And then we could probably take it all the way up here to the top of this resistance channel of 1336 and yes there's more room to run i do believe we'll get back to that 14 this is about a two dollar trade i think i'm going to get out of it 
So that's going to be GE. And then the last one we're going to talk about is another great trade that was alerted last week. Um, and that's Tilray. And we'll go ahead and put it up on here. This is in the mar marijuana sector. Now, I think the marijuana sector is going to have a pretty good run, a bullish run here for a little while because of this factor right here. Mexico set to legalize marijuana, becoming the world's largest market. Well, they, they approved the bill. So legalization of recreational marijuana has been approved. And, you know, they've had a drug war down there. I think this will help the cartel out. And, you know, the cartel's in charge. They always have been down in Mexico. But sometimes you got to appease the enemy. That's kind of what our administration's doing right now. And that's what's going to happen. It might be a bad thing. It might be a good thing. But with the, the momentum behind the world and behind the medical marijuana situation, I think it's definitely a good catalyst. And we're going to go ahead and talk about the chart. This was alerted quite a few times last week in the room. Tilray. We were looking for support level. I got in the trade. I scalped it once and got back in the trade here at 26. And that is... At 325, I got in the trade, and right now we're at 437. So let's go ahead and look at the stock itself. And this is my TTM chart again. I think we got a catalyst to break resistance, and that resistance level is going to be this number right in here, this 2889. We'll magnify this up a little bit. We do have a long, I mean, this thing can really fly. This thing can really take off. If it gets the momentum and the social media behind it and the pumpers start jumping into it, which, you know, we've been a bullish on the medical marijuana for almost a total of a year now. We definitely run this up to 3521. And it can go a lot higher. I mean, this thing had a heck of a run. If you look at the uh, yearly chart, thing ran all the way up to 67. Had a real steep pullback, real steep pullback back to support level where that ascending triangle was. And I always talk about these patterns if you want to learn how to short or how to catch a knife. Look for them uh, the patterns, chart patterns, and you can find you a nice little support level. Right here we had an ascending or a pennant flag, more or less, or an ascending triangle if I probably defined it out on a... On a uh, different time frame may probably be both but we did have a nice little pennant flag it lasted for a couple weeks and then bam we had the big breakout she pulled back to that support line and now she's back up to an equilibrium of that run so we do have a hard resistance level we got a break and it's going to be this let me see if i can find this number in here we'll pull up the 20 day 28 something Back and find that one more time. 28.75 is what we got to break. And that'll be a double top. We are, we did have three nice white soldiers. Every time you see three white soldiers like this, you're going to have a small pullback. And then you're going to have retracement back up to break resistance level. And that resistance was right around 28.17. So we definitely got to put that trend line in there for a pullback for support level. The 28, 27.81. And then we got this strong buy down here where we had this other breakout at 2684. I think that should hold. If not, it can definitely drop down here to this lower level of 2377 and be a very strong buy. But I don't see it doing that. I see us having a nice little breakout today and then pulling back and consolidating and trying to find an equilibrium. But we got to break this double top and that's at 2875. And that's it for I Love Stocks. They were pretty nice trades yesterday. I came out with a little under a grand, which is better than usual day, which I do want to keep that grand average on a daily basis. I do have a stock challenge that I have started at the first of the year. Let me see. That ain't what I want. Give me one second here. I do have a washboard 
Jim's Options Challenge that I started at $1,000. And as you can tell on the challenge itself, let me see here. Oh boy. I can tell you want whoop, there it is. Challenge is up from one thousand. I opened up two of them. I got a margin and a cash account. I first made two grand and then I decided to go ahead and open up a cash account. So my cash account's up three hundred and sixty seven thirty six. And then my options margin account is up fifteen hundred and twenty dollars and ninety five cents. So it's not too bad. I had a good $940 day yesterday. And those are the days I like. I did get stuck in Tesla at one time and lost about 1200 bucks on it. I also took Target and took a loss on it also. And I took a, a small loss on Disney and then we had that huge bounce. This account would be double that if I'd have held on to that Disney call. So that's I Love Stocks. We'll catch you in a later date. Watch these trades, and we'll see you this weekend. I'm going to do a two-hour session on Saturday. So at 1 p.m. Eastern time, hit and subscribe to this video if you like. And I'm going to talk about a little lesson. I always throw a little lesson in, then I talk have the forum go ahead and talk about stocks of your choice, and I try to find supports and pivot points. We also have here uh, on, the, on our website, we have our Twitter link, and I'll go back to it here. This little link right here will take you up to Twitter. Miss Vegas is posting her alerts in here at all times. And so we'd really appreciate that if you'd go ahead and follow us on here. And you can see some of our entries. And we also have on our website our links to our stock twits. You can follow us there. Remember, subscribe, ring that bell for future updates. If you like this video, hit that like button. Always remember, I love stocks.